Hello my friends, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me back here in Old World Blues playing as that beautiful Boneyard Military Junta. So, I guess we just uh, got some better APCs, which would be very, very nice to add on. And last time we took out some boomer folk, we basically puppeted New Vegas, expanded New Vegas, and did we do anything else? We might not have. Oh yeah, we, did. we took out Zion. Ah, Zion. What a country. Anyways, right now, as you can tell, we're still at war with the Barons of Republic. We've lost a couple guys, they've lost a few thousand guys, and we're taking out enemy countries one bone at a time. And in this episode, we're going to make sure that our divisions are as strong as possible. Now, making them 40 combat width already, pretty much, uh, with these APCs, which they already are. We'll throw on something else here, maybe, if we can find anything else that doesn't lower our armor amount too much. Uh, scrap bots? Yeah, we'll get some scrap bots too. And maybe, let's see, our infantry, they could maybe be improved as well. They can throw one more thing on them. We'll figure that out. That's okay. Fire teams are okay. I mean, these guys already have five recons, so we'll figure it out soon enough. And are we justifying on anyone right now? Yes, yeah, the Busters, which sh really shouldn't be that hard to take out. Ooh, pre-war schematics. Let's see, what's after pre-war schematics? Expand the shipyards. Cool. If we are ever to create a capable navy, we must expand our shipyards to allow mass production of warships. This will, without a doubt, be a time-consuming project, but will be worth the wait. And if we want to go to war with those folks over in Hoover Dam, well, I'll probably just send three guys over. Special Forces expansion. Very good. Very, very good. You guys do that. And I'm still waiting to get power armor, because I need to research it as well. Which I should have not researched scrap robots, scrap bots, but whatever. You guys are slowly losing, but still winning. 303, yeah. I mean, this is such a gamey way to, like, win a war, but it is what it is. And I don't have to do much about it, so. I hope you like our population levels, or manpower levels. Pretty nice, actually. We got 1.15 million non-core population. That's not too bad. And core population is... 350,000, so that's not too bad. Almost one and a half, yeah, pretty much one and a half million living in our uh, country here. Not too bad. I'll throw you up here. Uh, actually, you guys can come around this way. Just in case they want to break through a little bit more. You guys aren't attacking. We found no enemy ships. Do they even, oh, the ridges are doing pretty well. Do you guys have a navy? Yeah, you kind of do. Huh. We haven't found them yet, but we'll find them eventually. You got another light cruiser? Yeah, throw you on there. Very good. Let's see. Anything else we can do for this? Maybe sell some updated equipment. Uh, not really. Let's see. Let's, let's look at our equipment levels or logistics. Let's see. Planes could be improved. Now they're really running out of things to use. That's good. <coughs> Excuse me. I had to sneeze there. All right, vehicles, eh, it's pretty easy. Let's get some more speed and reliability. That'd be pretty good. And we have a cup of Boneyard Coffee here. Bone Yard Coffee. Pretty hot. Pretty hot in the Boneyard, not gonna lie. Let's see. You guys. Looking pretty good. Bobby. Bobby Boyd. You got anything for us? Oh, nice. We go to war for Hoover Dam. And eh, nothing of interest. Let me go ahead and continue expanding this. Alright, let's go and go to war with these guys. This shouldn't be too terribly difficult, but we'll see what happens. And once those guys are done, timekeepers. I don't want to keep extending, extending my border with New Reno, so we're not going to do that. <sighs> Grand Tribes, that'd be good enough. There you go, there you go, thank you, thank you. Call the New Vegas. And they immediately attack us, which is something I wanted to happen. Alright, we seem to be winning, which is good. Let them drain themselves on us. And then we will attack soon. Ace pilot promoted. Very good, very good. So much war for us, so much death. They've lost 16,000. Ah, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Now, this tile here is usually the one that likes to get attacked the most, but we can expand the shipyards first. Eyes to the east. So, if we are ever to become the naval power we are destined to become, we must establish a second base of operations along the Colorado River to ensure we are capable of protecting our borders from the Legion Scouts, as well as other unknown enemies, or maybe Blackfoot Scouts, even though the Blackfoot are actually dead. Oh, 
right. My apologies, I had to go blow my nose a little bit. Just a little bit, though. Ah, uh, shot down. A victory all of Boneyard Military Junta will remember. Oh, nice. Good job, Broken Coast. Keep doing what you're doing because, uh, oh, let's just go do that. That means we have less enemies to take out up here. And they're still trying to attack us here. Uh, oh, they actually won. Wow, they actually won. If that's the case, there were everyone here then. Ball City is looking pretty... A little larger than normal. A little larger. That's okay with me. Oh, yeah. Ace Pilot promoted. Acclimatization training. Very good. Maybe some better ships. Paddle steamers seem pretty nice to get. Ah, salvaged APCs. Very good. They're going to use a little bit more supply, but have more speed. Good. Nothing here to really comment on. Not really. Let's build up some more military factories. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. Like the boomers. All right. Could you guys win here, maybe? You might be able to with a, with about 200 planes. 138. Maybe. All right. Uh, that's Benny. You can't have that many people here, can you? A couple divisions. 146 divisions. We'll see what happens. We should be able to win there. Should is a good word. Uh, we're done with our land doctrine. Yeah, I got to grab some of that. We have plenty of air XP, so I want to use that up as much as possible so we can get some more air XP. What's a cap? S 650. Okay, 650 is a cap. Cool. Are they done attacking us? No. Alright, well, you know what? They do them. Anything down here. Level 7 general. Very nice. Pain, train, power, armor. Nah, nah. He's, he's still using APCs, so. Now, you two, Bobby, right there. And then you right there. Alright, so I'm going. See if you can do anything about that. Maybe not. Maybe you can't. Maybe you can't. Maybe you can't. I don't know. Perhaps you can. Perhaps you cannot. Now, I'd be surprised if they don't have, if they're, if they have any more manpower, since those guys are looking pretty, pretty darn weak. Not gonna lie. Yep, they're out of manpower. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And Baron's Republic operative captured. Very nice. Ice East. Create the Shimehuavi naval base. Our experts have stated that repairing the, the harbor will allow us to begin producing warships along the Colorado River. Great! More naval dockyards. Uh, and then we'll start building up some paddle steamers. Nice. They really shouldn't be able to beat us up too much. Shouldn't be able to. Sorry about that. I had to blow my nose again. Sorry. My apologies. My apologies. Let's see. Oh, look at that. And oh, I was going to comment on the encirclement, but they all died. So beautiful. Beautiful. Find your kits. Good. Grab some of that. At this point, you all might as well go. Very nice. Very nice. Just go ahead, guys. We'll have these guys done soon enough. Soon enough. And you guys couldn't take that tile. But I have a good feeling that these guys probably don't have a lot of manpower. Uh, war support. Let's get some more war support. Cool. Well, even though we might not be winning, ah, we might be winning, actually. They can't really repair themselves. They're kind of stuck doing what they're doing. All right, next up. Never choose these because I don't like penalties. That's not bad. Close air support. Attack. Yeah, we'll do that one. Why not? Ah, good. Hopefully it's just in time for us to go to war with the Grand Canyon folk. Ah, only less than 50 days, which is good. Less than 50 days. And we have enough police armor. And by police armor, infantry armor. Very good. Let's go ahead, since we got some factories, get a cryptology department. That'd be nice. Yeah, new Reno. Hmm. Oh, actually, by doing this, we extend our board with new Reno, which isn't a good idea. Um... Yeah, after Grand Tribes, we'll probably go out, go to New Reno. That's probably the, probably the best thing to do for us. And there we go. Oh, I thought it would be the Baron's Republic that would fall first. Uh, 
I could really take it, but I'll just give this to uh, you guys. Okay, maybe not. But that'll be probably the last thing we give New Vegas. <clears throat> probably. So, and there we go. Pop. Or just pop. There you go. Very good. You guys, come over here. Preemptive strikes. That'd be nice. Wow, so much air XP. And Sac City will be ours. So I'm assuming they lost at least 20,000 uh, casualties. 20,000 casualties. Words. My brain not working right now. Oh, not here right now. Please leave a message at the beep. Good. You guys come over there. Do that. Get an, another airbase maybe up here, perhaps. Maybe get some radar over there. Create the naval base. Very good. Next up, oh, stations. Prepare the LA air base. Uh, air, ooh. faster air production. I like that. Lee's plan. Oh, we get scavenger power armor right there. So that's the Lee's plan. General Lee Oliver, the hero of the Boneyard, has written up a daring and costly plan. He believes that if we are to devote enough time into it, we could create several capable power armor divisions to ensure we are never outgunned in a fight. Yes. Who needs to research things when you get them for free? I love free things. Good, good, good. And you guys sh might be able to do okay. Let me get there. What is our close air support looking like? We need more. We need more fighters. We need more, a lot more of everything. Good. Use a supply. Restore the Beale Air Force base. Yes, please. Help the settlements out. That would be nice. Uh, sell some updated equipment. Form a department, a cryptology department. That's good. Get that river barge. Can we just go straight for the battle barge? Yeah, go straight for the battle barge. That'd be fine. Go and get rid of this. Paddle seamer, river barge. Wait, paddle seamer. Paddle seamer, river barge. Oh, we can go to war. Good. Yeah, I'll get rid of both, actually. River barge. Nope. We're just going to go to the next level above that. Anything here? Pioneer kits, scrap bots, whatever. Cryptology. You guys. It's going to take forever to do, but that's okay. Go to war. New Reno's next. Oh, the ally with Vault City. Oh. Very good. Very good. Now, how strong is New Reno? Quite a few divisions. No manpower. So, actually, this shouldn't be too bad for us to take out. If that's the case. Yeah, we should be able to do it. Because, uh... We've got a lot of manpower. A lot of manpower. Wartime administration. We can have some of that. If they want to rebel, well, I'll put them down. With infrastructure. Nothing says... Less autonomy, like building infrastructure. Good, you guys are doing okay. Jeremiah Beaumont. Anything here? Level 4. He's learning, he's learning, that's good. Is he learning anything else? He's learning how to be an urban assault specialist, a hills fighter, and a desert fox. Now, we're struggling over here, but I don't think they'll be too hard to kick out of the Grand Canyon, or the Western Grand Canyon. Nice. Ah, they're out of manpower, so it's not really going to be too much of an issue. Let's get hard. Alright. We don't need to do that because we get scavenged PA anyways. Well, we might do it for more speed anyways. Uh, go ahead get the recon kit teams. Why not? We can. Good. You guys are winning slowly but surely. Give me a hill fighter. Good. New Reno. Now, they have a lot of resistance everywhere, which is not ideal, but... Oh, they got a lot of manpower in Vault City. Which means we're going to need some serious anti-tank. You guys... Gives you a little bit more breakthrough, a little bit more... Oh, actually, this gives give you more recon. I really don't like this one. Uh, recon. Huh. This gives you slightly more defense, breakthrough, soft attack, heart attack, recon, suppression, air attack. HP? Does this help you with HP? It does. Reliability. Uh, I guess I want dogs, but recon is just... Even though, like I said, we already had recon, it's still pretty good. So, the need for heavy infantry. As our past wars have proven, even the best soldiers would still succumb to even minus battles wounds. However, if we were to put these trained soldiers in power armor, they could take on dozens of soldiers by themselves without worry. Yes. Yeah, I mean, we already have recon, but... Or reconnaissance on our soldiers, but how about we have more recon? 
you guys could come down there. There we go. Move things around a little bit. Get rid of that right there. That's good. Hey, at least we get to take out uh, Vault City too. Hey, Battle Barge is nice. Let's go ahead and use those guys. Battle Barges. Thank you. Rigs are outdated. Battle Barges are in. You are looking... Well, these are looking okay. I really need to upgrade these even more. Yeah, I've done nothing with these naval upgrades. Heavy deck? Sure, good enough. Good enough. Battlefield Hierarchy. Awesome, let's get that one done first. Grab that. You're done. Let's do that. And then we're going to grab that as well. Auto. Auto. Don't even make that many convoys. Go on. Go to the Boneyard. TB. Nice. That should be good. That should be good. Uh, oh, Boneyard. The Boneyard. Cool. And let's keep making more military factories, even though I love infrastructure. Military factories are still where it's at. Ah, Bob and Diglo. Might be a nice place down there. Maybe. Oh, we got resistance to occupation. Ah, no one cares. Put them down, put them down. Keep it up. We have so much manpower, it doesn't even matter if we keep them on waste on pacification, so. Doesn't even matter. Oh, we're still fighting down here. Oh. Well, you, it's definitely a struggle. Definitely a struggle. Very good, very good. Oh, we're running out of resources. That's not good. We need some circuitry. Oh, boy. Circuitry, huh? Where do my eyes see potential places for circuitry? Well, not down here. Oh, might as well add infrastructure down here, but yeah, nothing down there. Alright, defense. Watch out for spies. Well, we got well, two right here. It's not bad. And maybe we could lower uh, our trading. Our trade supply, max speed, let's see. Nope. Cast for every army. We might be able to do this when we go to war with New Reno. Maybe. We'll see what happens. Scavenge power armor. Beautiful. Oh, we get some stuff. Oh, yeah, see what happens. So let's loot the LA Military Depot. Our engineers have discovered that the LA Military Depot, our armory, remains untouched to this day thanks to the powerful vault door protecting it from outside threats. They believe if they were given enough time, they could easily hack the computer systems and open the vault, revealing untold secrets. Very nice. Very, very nice. And how much longer must we wait to go to war with these guys? Just a casual two-ish weeks-ish? Three-ish weeks? That's not bad. Clamp down. Sell some out to the equipment. That'll be good, because right now we get 124. Nice. There goes the Grand Traps, finally. And let's make some Power Armor Divisions. Very good. I'll put you guys kind of in reserve, just in case. Combat barges, very cool. So it's time to make some combat barges as well. You are done. You need an upgrade. Oars, yeah, whatever. Seagulls, yeah, whatever. You guys, nothing. Medium deck, yeah. Update. Sure, why not? Combat barges, go up by two. And boom, boom. Boneyard. De boneyard. Boom. Yeah, you... Yeah, you guys are supposed to be done very soon. Awesome, looks good. Recon kit teams, good. Scavenge power armor. Only when we get everything else done first. Recon teams, good. Uh, land night attack, that's pretty nice to get. All right, Red Sun Republic. Oh, I, want, I wish they had a focus tree, a unique focus tree. They don't. They currently do not at the time of this recording. Hopefully, eventually they will someday. Hmm. Well, we unlocked. Power armor, but we got. We didn't get the template, so. Looks like we're still going to research it anyways. Yay! <laughs> uh, yeah, we're gonna wait for this. Maybe, maybe not. I'm just go and go to war. I don't think they'll be able to do very much against us. Yeah, look how, how weak they are. Nah, they're still attacking me, so. That's fine. After them, we're gonna take out the Vipers because it looks disgusting. Now, they shouldn't be able to win against us. But, you know, I've been wrong before. 
So, 150 losses, thou well, 1,000 already. Elite. Oh, what happened up north? Wow, that is a b unique troll warren. The frozen. I've never seen that before. The frozen council. Hello, Ragnar. Huh. Oh, please go to war with Bellingham. That'd be fun. All right, losses. Not, eh, not too bad. Not too bad. Oh, they're breaking through here. Oh, that sucks. Oh, excuse me, guys. Thank you. Head on up there. You should have more than enough speed. 3.7, that's not enough. What the heck? Eh, but you're not that far away, so that's okay. Good. They died. We get to take out New Reno, Vault City, eventually the Vipers, Wendover Republic. Oh, you're independent. I hate that. I hate that you're independent. Uh, that's disgusting. Why do you let people be independent? No, no, no. They gotta be under us. They have to be under us. Alright, next up. Uh, wait. Spies. Uh, grab some antipartisan and stuff. That'd be fun. And we're gonna get Ronald Stevens. Ronald McDonald. Here we go. And you guys can spy on someone like the Troll Warren. There you go. If you get caught, that's not my fault. Very good. Loot the LA to police department. Cool. And let us grab the Boneyard Heavy Infantry Corps. Thanks to the equipment found in the LA Military Depot, we are now capable of fielding our first divisions of powered armored soldiers. Although small numbers, they will prove more than capable of, of in defending our borders. Absolutely. Ah, so you guys are overfilled. All right, well, throw you over there then, and then throw you over there. Don't need a massive army. Don't want to make actually that many more infantry divisions too. So there we go. Very nice, very nice. Oh yeah, you guys can go right on ahead. Scale navigation, defenses are online. Very good. Cult of Roswell is gone. Got some of that. Nice. Oh, actually, oh, there we go. Now we can do every cap for the armor. We can even do everyone for the war machine. That hurt our manpower. Actually, what am I saying? Hurt our manpower. Just go and do that. Yeah, that's fine. And now we can do distressed outsiders when we get there. Nice. Now we got eh, a few more things we could use for factories. Very good. And build up this place. Just one. That's okay. We should be doing okay-ish. We're going to take a few thousand losses. That's, that's fine. I mean, even though we are technically demobilizing. Whatever. Any parts in very good. Very good. Sip of coffee time. Very good, very good. I don't think New Reno can really keep this up. But that's just me. A victory for all of the Boneyard. Seize on patriotism. Hmm. I'll restore the Rancho Seco NGS. Yes. Yes, please. Any more ships? Sure. Night vision devices. Very good. More soft attack? I think so. And get some rubber al refinement. There we go. There we go. Ah, the fall of New Reno. We've heard stories before. This place is worse than any of them, though. Ah, beautiful. Are you guys going with extreme intent? I hope so. Suicide runs? Sound like fun. Sound like a lot of fun. Uh, more reliability? Oh, that's for tanks. Eh, whatever. Nice. We go to War of the Vipers. We have until when to do that. October 7th, that's fine. Go do that. I'm going to go ahead and just fly on Wendover, just so we can get out of the way. Just so it goes bye-bye. 75 days, that's not bad. Got to keep in mind, keep in mind. October 7th. Ooh, what is that? Oh, we need dogs. Oh, crap. What am I doing? Yeah, get some doggies up there. Boneyard Heavy Infantry Corps. Very good. Next up, uh, Old World Training. Yeah, let's get that. It looks pretty good. So, although the basic training courses greatly improved our army's fighting capabilities, when our soldiers actually entered combat, they immediately forgot their lousy excuse for training. As such, we have to, decided to introduce military training used before the Great War to ensure our forces are capable, fully capable of fighting. Old World Training standards. We get more soft attack, hard attack, and defense.
for all infantry, motorized, and mechanized. That's actually pretty nice. Oh, look at those boys. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's only 15 combat wood. Well, they still have more armor than my than these guys, so. Alright, we need a general. Lee Oliver. You don't even what? You don't have a portrait. What the heck? How does that make sense? Uh, and you're definitely going to go with a uh, pain train. Awareness. Um, I'm going to land eye attack. Mm, division attack defense. Do these guys even have recon on them? They don't. I might just throw recon on them. You know what? I'm going to throw recon on them. So that they're very, very aware. Cool. Just, just bring you up. Uh, that's fine. There we go. Beautiful. Special forces. Demos. Same armor. Uh, supply use. It's not that bad. I'll lower it anyways. Oh. And then throw on... Recon. Just so they have a little bit of knowledge about what's going to happen soon. Good, 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 good. October 7th. That's not bad. Paddle wheels. Cool. Ah, they're cut off from Vault, from Carson City, not Vault City, Carson City. Oh, we got something there. No. How many more doggos do we need? Five hundred eleven. This guy's going down. Awesome, 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 awesome. Go and kill them off. That's fine. And now we're getting to Vault City, which kind of sucks, but whatever. That's fine. Do we have airplanes around here? Maybe? Maybe not? Do we have to capitulate both? No, just vault, just uh, New Reno. Which is all the way up there, unfortunately. That sucks. But we're pushing in into here, too, so that's not too bad. You guys. I guess we could start sieging down Vipers. There's only four divisions here, but it is what it is. Well, the Viper's completely encircled now. Alright, so Vault City. Yeah, we lost somebody. That sucks, but whatever. October 7th, we've got a few weeks left. Uh, they have only 64 divisions. Plenty of manpower, but... Hmm. Get everyone on the entire front line. Like this. That'd be good. And go right ahead. When you can. Because we only have so much time. Expert Hell Spider, very good. Very good, Joe. Very good. Go and take that tile. Uh, can four divisions of power armor take these guys out? Probably not. Oh, uh, we might have to wait just a little bit. Please take Vault City. Please take Vault City. Good, Matthew Foster. Uh, cutting Desert Fox, that'd be good. Follow Vault City, awesome. Where's the next capital? Please don't tell me it's up north. Oh, it is up north. God dang it, we have to wait to go to war with these guys then. So be it. That sucks. That really sucks. But then again, this is one of the largest countries in the wasteland over here, and I don't think four power armor divisions can really take these guys out. But I could be wrong. You know what? We're gonna do it anyways. Screw it, I'm not gonna wait again. Uh, how many divisions do they have immediately? Oh, that's not bad. It's not too bad. So, oh, you guys better take out Nurino as fast as you can. <laughs> uh, Matthew Foster. You got anything interesting for us? Eh, a little bit, but not really. Now, they're going to be expanding quickly, so you better hurry up. There you go. That's what I wanted to see. And you, and Vault City fell with them. Great. Great. Thank you. Ah. Uh, L.A. is looking great, man. I don't know about you, but I, I'm liking how a L.A. looks right now. Good, good, good. And how much longer will it take for us to go to war with the Wendover Republic? Probably not too long. Yeah, a week or two. Old rule training. <clears throat> Sock stack, heart attack. Mm, love it. Do we want some outposts? We can wait on that one. Ah, unity in the boneyard sounds pretty good. So, with the threat of Dayglow blasting through radios across the city and with the people having pride in our great navy for the first time since the bombs dropped, people of the boneyard are united. We just casually get more manpower, because why not? Why not? 
like the Pokemon. Why not? Uh, subsurface propulsion sounds like fun. <clears throat> and now let me spend some time upgrading this, which I should probably pay attention a little bit more to what's going on with my ships. So, there you go. It didn't even make any, so. Not bad. Combat barge. Combat barge. Combat barge. Schooner hole. You're done. Battle barges. I know this lowers my uh, reliability, but eh, that's okay. For now. Eh, they're almost done. Battle barge. Battle barge. There you go. Uno. And Uno. Battle barge. Ah, there we go. Pretty good. Overcharged ammo, too. Uh, oh, they're still falling. Oh, the ridges are actually falling back. That's kind of good to see. Nice. Uh, I want a big war. Let's go with let's go with Heaven's Gate. I could take. Oh, they're actually allied with. Oh, that's gonna be another big war. Love it. Fifty days, not bad. Uh, I don't want to go take out Eastport yet, just because they're so small. They're so small. And what do we got here? Strip power armor. Beautiful. Now, well, we could edit the, the divisions like that before, but whatever. Whatever. All right, that's enough time. Uh, I'm gonna make you guys thick as possible. Power armor, power armor, power armor, and power armor. I never use fire teams; they're just not as interesting. This is my opinion. Who knows? Maybe I'm wrong. Let's see. Combo with 37 and a half, not bad. Train two at a time. There you go. Infantry divisions. I should really move them up. Okay, so come right there. All right, let everyone come down here. Just, just go, guys. You don't, you don't need to circle around them. You're, you're acting like vultures. You go to war with Wendover by Christmas Day. Good. Ah, beautiful. That coffee's pretty good too. I'll let you guys take them out. No problemo. I'll put you guys down here too. There you go. Nice. Very good. And there's some things right there. There you go. There you go. And before I forget, we gotta make sure we got enough air bases around here too. And maybe some infrastructure. Yeah, level 2 isn't gonna cut it. Radar. Might be beneficial. And the ridges are finally gone. Thank you, Christian Tribes. You have made that so much easier for us. Another person that we don't have to take out. I always love that so much. Cool. You guys are good to go. Did they even have a division? They have 100 manpower. They, they, have, a, they have one division, maybe two, but at least one. Uh, Oasis. What a great place. Yeah, let's see. Can we do anything here? Ah, and there they go. Thank you, Wendover. Thank you. Alright, nice. Provide power armor to scavengers? Sure. Alright, so you guys, y'all gonna buddy buddy. Get nice and comfortable with each other because there's not a lot of room around there. You guys, buddy, well, you guys can't really buddy buddy over there. Ah, get some dickens. I'm gonna put you under someone else for now because you guys are gonna be like that. And then, General Lee Oliver, you're gonna be right there. Right there. That was actually really fast. Actually, how fast can we take out you guys? 90 days, that's not bad. So, unity in the boneyard, just casually getting more manpower because what's a manpower deficit? So, prepare the naval industries to get our industries ready to mass compete with Dago's Navy. We begin expanding our current naval bases within the boneyard to ensure that we can compete with them. Yes. Absolutely, my friends. We are doing really well. We still need more infrastructure here, though. Naval manuals, very good. Uh, get some of that. More HP is nice. Uh, like I said, I should probably focus on this a little bit more. You guys, well, I'm just going to train for now. There we go. If we need a repair, we got four on there already. Oh, strip the power armor. Yeah, we don't need that. Bye bye. We don't need that either. Um, we don't need that either. Um, everything else looks pretty good, I think. I could be wrong. Whatever. Monoplane attackers. Can I? I can. Oh. Hmm. Oh, we need more reliability, so lower that attack and range. And make it super reliable? No, that hurts our agility. Does that hurt us anywhere? No, good. 
Those are expensive. Gonna do that, and then... There you are. Monoplane attackers. There you go. Nice. Mark 1s. Even better. Even better ones. Wow, we need to make more military factories. Alright, need to go to war by... Hey! Happy New Year! Happy 2285, my friends! February. February, 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 February. February. Alright, we're suffering from a little bit of attrition here, which really, actually, really, really sucks. We're going to go to war, see what happens. Oh, wait, we're fighting Lone Trees, too. Uh oh. Lone Trees and Old Country. Alright, so this makes it a little bit more interesting now. Finally. Spread you out a little bit better. You guys are coming down here to Lone... No, no, you're not. Okay. Get those guys out of there. Sucking up too much of my supply. And good war by favor. I'm glad, I'm glad I caught that early. So, there you go. Three, two, good enough for me. How about... Come on, get in there. One. Cool. Heaven's Gate. Gonna go bye-bye. Now, they're immediately attacking us here. We ain't doing so well. All right, so be it. Infantry should be able to push in, though. Even though they they don't have a lot of supplies there. Oh, they took out one tile. Whatever. Happens. Uh, support. Eh, grab some of that. I never know which one I need, so... Or which one I always choose. I just click on something. That's my plan at this point. Just click on something. All right. Anything here? What are we thousand? Oh, we did pretty well. Lost those bunker. New Hammond joined the Great Confederation. It's nothing. Wait, hold on. Great Confederation... We could get a lot more factories here if we core it, so. 194, jumps up to. Hey, I got two more factories. That's nice. That's very, very nice. You guys hanging out, having a good time. Good, good, good. Are we still mobilizing or demobilizing? We're mobilizing, that's good. That's some good stuff. Losses, 400 versus 1,000, not bad. Air wise, we are not doing that great, actually. Yeah, we're doing okay. Prepare, prepare the naval industries. The USS Anchorage within the LA Harbor lays a direct or derelict amphibious assault ship of the US Navy. Rumors are that when the bombs were dropping, the carrier was hit by a torpedo and forced to dock within the LA Harbor. With a little work, we could get the ship operational as well as, as its air wing. Nice. Next up, give these more air bases. Mono oh, yeah. Give me some monoplane attackers here. Use them right there. Multi deck construction. Help our ships out, maybe. Uh, yeah. Better naval rams, perhaps? Nice. Definitely help them out there. Now she help us push. Good, good, good. Ah, oh, coffee's a good thing. Glorious thing. Now, we can't quite win everywhere, but that's okay. How much manpower does High Chapel have? I, sh I think they should have enough. They're not really easy to play, but they're not that difficult. They're about a thousand, that's not bad. Supply still sucks down here, though. Still sucks. Ah, uh, they're turned empty handed, that sucks. That's okay, though. Can't always be successful. Can't always be. Could you guys be successful, though? Some areas, yeah. Some areas, no. Mostly not. Alright, good. Let him hold. We got that little tile back, that's fine. We could, we could get some tanks, but I'm not really feeling tanks right now. Ah! Esports. Well, since you're not doing anything, could you guys do that? Maybe help out more infrastructure around here. We'll go like bomb, bomb, bomb. Perhaps, maybe. Ah, that's beautiful. Good. Now that the infantry is kind of divided up, it's not too bad. And get in there, get in there, get in there, and God dang, you guys take forever to do this. Good. Wait, are they they tried enabling baby? Wow. All right, so we got to divide this up a little better. U30, come here. Crush them. With you guys. U24, stay right here. But half you guys, come right there. You don't want to forget about that little spot. That wouldn't be very good. And then the last group will push this direction. And then go crazy, have at thee. There you go. Now, these guys aren't necessarily cut off, but soon enough they will be, which would be great. Oh, you guys are lacking a lot of materials. I hate being out of supply sometimes. Oh, we need, oh man, we need a lot of APCs. Oh, oh my goodness, my goodness. Good, 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 good. Have your capacitor weaponry. 
Uh, refined laser focuses. Very good. We have until when to go to war with those guys. May 16th. We got oh, about a month left. That's not bad. After those guys, we'll go to war with the timekeepers. Probably. And that's 30 days. That's pretty quick. Good. You guys are doing okay. We should be able to beat these guys up fairly easily. But, uh, There you go. You go this way, guys. Go that way. And go. Go, 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 go. Power armor. Try it. Try, uh, maybe. Don't try it. Don't try it. Don't try it. Oh, they're not winning. Yeah. I did say I wanted a tougher war, so I definitely got what I asked for. I can't imagine High Chapel having that much more manpower, though, themselves. All right. Now let's do the second. Well, we can do that later. Let's see. The mutants. So, oh, the scorpions are a vicious gang that plagues the lands to our east. We can either deal with them diplomatically and convince them to join us or give us the region of Eagle Mountain, which would act as a natural barrier between our borders and theirs, or we could conduct a military campaign against them. Well, scorpions are a little bit gone right now, so please leave a message at the beep. And I'm never going to beep. Are you guys doing nothing? Oh, maybe I didn't give you orders. Duh. That doesn't help. Special forces kits. Cool. I guess we're done with that. Nice. Oh, that's some more soft attack, too. There you go. Kill them off. Kill them off. Casualties are, you know, fairly high, actually. So, saws. There you go. Naval rams. HMGs. Oh, wait. Oh, we need to go to war by May 16th. Oh, May 16th. They still got a lot of divisions here, though. Lots of divisions. With no manpower, though. Which is a good thing. <clears throat> good, please cut them off. That makes it so much easier to kill off these guys. Good, good, good. May 16th. And then I'll use these APCs to go to war with the people down south. Dickens. Good. Oh, look at all those guys. Dying like they should. Beautiful. Now, you guys are also going to come down here. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. We're going to go to war. Immediately go ahead if you can. You probably won't be able to win because you are actually lacking quite a few APCs, but that's okay. Uh, you guys. Well, you're here already. You guys can probably come up that way. Do that. Lee Oliver, go and do that. Do that. And then timekeepers are next. Oh, we're doing really well against Lone Trees. Uh, they, it looks like they don't have enough manpower, though. So we're doing okay. We just need to focus on getting more APCs ourselves. Good. Boost it up by 10. Uh, that's not bad. That's really not too bad. There we go. These guys are dying. I love it. Wait, who's... Groose? Uh, so they have... What do you do there, then? Uh, they, have, they have a lot of manpower. They have no divisions. Uh, I'm not really sure what to say about that, but, uh, okay. Nice, Eastport is ours. Very beautiful, my friends. Love it. At this point, come join him back here. Everyone comes up here. And have a good time, for now. Let's quickly try to just roll through them. Then we'll go to War of the Timekeepers. Even though we're struggling over here, it's mostly because we don't have air support. And let's look at the air support. Uh, very good. Well, actually, we do have some air support, but it's it's out of our range. There we go. Now, that's going to help out. Nice. Industrial support is gone. Refined focus lasers. Gatling lasers. Very nice. Throw you right there. We are done with infantry for this campaign, it looks like. Probably. Except asked up settlements. How many? How much manpower do we get a month? Just 700. That's all. Yeah, I'll provide some power armor. Maybe sell some outdated equipment. That'd be nice. And we've lost about 7,000, which is a lot more than I thought we would. But they've lost 17,000 in total for the entire faction. Mutants, it's time for crushing the mutants. So, the only way to ensure the protection of our citizens is to crush the mutants in a massive military campaign. Without a doubt, we will lose dozens, even hundreds of soldiers or thousands, but it'll be worth it when our frontier citizens can sleep at night without fears of being attacked. Yes, being attacked is it's not sound like a lot of fun, to be honest with you. Oh, that was really fast for that. Uh, do we have this all? Oh, we have this cord. That's really cool. Hmm. I'd like to pour that. Do I have anything? Hmm. I guess we pour this. Junk Town's not too bad. 
Nice. Heavy machine guns, very cool. Timekeeper's operative captured. Well, that's okay. Well, I guess it's not okay, but... Well, them spying on us isn't okay, but everything else is okay. I should give up soon when you go to war by... August 18th. Which isn't bad. It's the same pressure. Just keep throwing on more soft attack. More, 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 more attack. Alright, you guys. Please go up to Heaven's Gate. Just take it. And actually, only one of you guys is going to Heaven's Gate. The other guy is going to come all the way up here, because they love coming up here. So, Crush the Mutants. Savage motorcycles, very cool. Incorporate the new lands. Oh, we get a core! With the mutants successfully in our hands, we are now capable of fully integrating the population of the settlements within the region. Subjugate them, subjugate them, and then when you're done, subjugate them a little bit more. You guys are definitely struggling over here, holy cow. Jackson, so doing a little bit of air damage. You, <clears throat> Joe, has been really struggling over here. That's okay, I mean, we all need to struggle from time to time. More power armor, thank you. You guys should be doing pretty well. August, will we get there by August 18th? We might be able to win by August 18th. Oh, Holy Valley is your capital. Oh, that sucks. Just take Holy Valley then. Oh, someone wants a little bit more independence? I don't believe so. Do you deserve independence? Probably not. Let's go and do this too, so we don't forget. Commando training, because we can. Jackson's about ready to fall. Oh my goodness, how much longer is it going to take to kill off you guys? Hey, look! An encirclement. I'm going to send you guys up north, actually. Just go ahead and take twin bridges. There you go. Two more APCs. Oh, we, I, we might have lost two APCs or something over there. Huh. Ah, there we go. Finally, they are done and dusted with. Lone Tree, thank you. Oh, oh, we didn't even have to take out Old Country. Oh, that's that's so nice. We got a free country. It's like a two-for-one deal. I love two-for-one deals. That's so much fun. But that's going to end today's episode, my friends. I hope you enjoyed us. Enjoy, well, I hope you enjoyed me. But I hope you enjoyed watching the video because the Troll Warren are now being very, very angry. And we're looking pretty good for being the city of LA, but like I said, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I will see you tomorrow as we fight the Troll War and maybe a couple people that keep the time. Thanks for watching, and have a great, great rest of your day.